Hello and welcome to the Heavy Poly Materials pop-up demo. To bring it up, you hit Shift V, and this is after you've installed it. Um, the link will be in the description. But this uh, this pop-up is great because it's right under your mouse, wherever your mouse is, so you have super quick access to all of your settings. There's also a lot of neat features built into this menu. For example, um, any of these materials that have the V at the end will be able to use vertex colors. So vertex colors is a really cool feature. It's really easy. So we could pick one of these uh, cubes and change it to a different color and it will update over here, right? But the cool thing is that these are all now organized under the same material. So if I hit Shift V and change the metallicness, it affects all three, uh, all the objects. So it's kind of a nice way to organize your materials. If you, if you know you have a bunch of different things that are going to need different colors but share the same material properties, then the glossy V is a nice way to go. You can also uh, do this with verts. So if we pick a vert over here, or maybe these two, change the color to yellow, now we get a nice soft gradient. And this is all, the other side benefit to this is it takes basically zero memory. So it's a lot more efficient than using a, an image texture to get this gradient. And we can also move this around and it sticks to the surface. Um, this also works in edge mode. Edge mode will just treat it like verts as well. So we can also, there's, there's a bunch of uh, sort of material presets in here like, for example, we could grab all of these and change them to be diffuse V and say assign to slot and now it's all diffuse. Let's do it again, this time glow V assigned to slot. So assigned to slot will assign that material without changing the color. And here's glow, here's bright, and let's check out glass. So we can't see it yet, but if I go into render mode, Z rendered, um, you should be able to, Ah, here we go. So there we go. Everything is retaining the colors that we assigned, but in glass. Um, and finally, we have a light box material. So this is a light box up here. And what that means is, well, let me show you. So if I change this to a slightly darker color like this, you can see that the edges are getting faded away because this is a, a special material that uses um, a gradient texture to create this effect. So we can even do this with any material, any face. All you have to do is hit U and unwrap and then apply, um, let's uh, assign it to here and change this with this little up and down arrow click on that and type in light box. Okay, now you can see it's getting that those faded edges. Oops. Oops, let me hit assign to slot, fill color. There we go. So now we can easily change the color and the brightness of this light box. Um, and finally, there's some nice little uh, convenience features in, built into here. So one of those is uh, copy material. So normally in Blender, to copy a material is a multi-step process and you have to press certain buttons in the correct order for it to work. But now it's been um, all consolidated into one button. So now if we grab, um, let's say we grab two of these or a couple of these, hit Shift V, and we could even copy this glass. And now that it's a copy, we can um, hit
hit uh, assign to slot, glass V, turn down the transmission, change the metallic, you know, do whatever. And it's just a nice way to inherit the, the, the material properties of, of uh, a previous material and then quickly edit it. So anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful. I'll have a link to uh, how to get this in, down below.